Hello guys, welcome to Webtrix Home. Today we'll be learning uh, to create multi-level drop-down menu in CSS. Right? You can see where I've used the same menu that I used in simple menu here in the tutorial part one for CSS menus. Right? So let's go to the HTML file and make some changes here. The basic thing what we'll do here is create a new UL tag inside some li tag behind the a tag anchor tag closing anchor tag right and then add some class name in here you can see and that's affecting the view of the main menu so we need to create either uh, we need to give the position absolute here so that it doesn't affect the view of the main menu then move it wherever we want yep that's just at the right place right. then move it a little bit down with the margin top okay so we can add this distance uh, a little more Okay, that looks good then. So what we're doing is adding some margins on the top, right? Okay, that looks good. Much better. Now what we can do is add a drop down arrow on the service menu, main menu, right? So that everybody knows there's something down there. Yeah see it right so we'll work on the stylings of the sub menus here then let's add the height okay that's great now let's make it Make some add some paddings, uh, remove some paddings there, right? And hide it. So now we'll add the property hover property so that uh, we can see it when we hover on the list, related list. Right? So on display block. Yep. So that'll work wonder. You can see now. You can see all sub menus are active here, right? But let's just adjust it first. Okay. Now we'll adjust the uh, hovering effect so that all sub menus doesn't appear to be selected or hovered on a single view. Right? So basically, we'll add the same property of the background. Now uh, you can see no changes now. So now we need to add another property that makes the sub menus hover or change on hover. Right? So we'll copy, copy and paste the properties from the top. Okay, now you can see it. And that looks good, right? So let's go to the top and create another sub menu inside one of them. I'll choose the last one. Create give a different name here yeah, you can see it then add the arrow to go to the right yeah, you can see the small arrow there right so let's add some properties and move it where we want it That's the first thing is position absolute that doesn't affect the view right then move it from the top wherever we want and uh, margin require margin but so you can see it right then we can define the height and even the width if we want so we we'll definitely want to define the width over here yep that looks good so adjusting the height right then 
I did a mistake over here, so I'm now rectifying it. Okay. Sting a little bit. Okay, that looks great there then. So let's hide those sub menus. Right. And add the hover effects as we did for the earlier part. So you can see there's no hover effect right there. Then add the hover effect when in fact we are hovering on this same second sub menu, right? Yep, that's correct. And then we can change the display, right? on and even the second sub menu so it's hidden and the second sub menu is still not displaying so I wanted to add a second CSS property of hover property right and display block and here you go right you can see it right but you can see we can go to the uh, second sub menu with the mouse right so we need to Remove the margin that we added on the top. Yep. There you go. And now we need to adjust the distance. And remove the margin from the second sub menu as well. Now we can decrease the width if we want. Yep, that looks good. Then remove the margin, uh, reducing the margin. You can see now it's hoverable. All right. So we can make adjustments as per our need. I'm keeping it a little bit down, straight. Try to keep it straight to the submenu. Okay. That's fine then. Alright. So adjusting the layers as much as you want. Okay, so that's all we need. Thanks for watching and please subscribe our channel for more videos. Thank you.